not sure if the child is yours? Pregnant and unsure if the child is his? Assurance DNA is here to help you find the answer to your questions. Assurance DNA is a paternity testing service with access to over 5,000 testing locations across the country. They provide legal paternity testing and home paternity testing kits. Can't leave the house? Assurance DNA has a network of mobile collectors that can come to you. At Assurance DNA, you're not just a number, you're family. When you call, you'll speak to a paternity testing expert who will guide you through the entire process, from the initial swab to interpreting your results. Assurance DNA is partnered with DNA Diagnostic Center, a trusted source for DNA testing that has processed over 20 million DNA tests since 1995. Everyone's situation is unique, so visit AssuranceDNA.com, A-S-S-U-R-A-N-C-E, dna.com to schedule a free consultation or give them a call at 877-362-6450 to speak to a paternity expert assurance dna confidence in knowing is you with me you what like i'm trying to give me the nut just because hundreds want to give me but y'all ready man yes sir all right we are in the building welcome welcome episode 81 80? No, 80? 80 80 my bad sorry sorry shit that was <laughs> 80 at the rising ground pocket you said it like i'm so far off well, uh it's your boy roger no nah, so far gone <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's your boy, boy chef i'll be checking in the young card all right shit. man we are in the building how y'all feeling this week shit great great man. i don't know why i feel like this week was long as hell nobody thought that no nah, it, it was for sure long it was like <laughs> yeah i had a three-day weekend so it was for sure long okay <laughs> Okay, yeah, you, you were relaxing in, in this bitch a lot. Yeah, yeah, man, I'm chilling on it. Um, how was your week though? It was good. Uh, I had a great week. You know what I'm saying? Um, just relaxing. Are you bro. choking? Huh? Are you choking? What does that mean? <laughs> your shirt's <laughs> awful fucking tight. <laughs> uh, nigga, I'm slow now, nigga. Oh. <laughs> that nigga said, "Wait, before I answer this <laughs> shit, oh my fault. I didn't mean it like that. No, I'm more. I just he got that medium on. Oh, yeah, medium small." Let me get an extra medium. He's large. <laughs> Chest out. But nah, bro, I had a great week. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, three-day weekend, kicked it all weekend. Um, but yeah, no complaints, man. I feel good. For sure. For sure, huh? Yeah, my week was good. You know, the weekend I went to Miami. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Took a little business trip, but it was definitely some pleasure. Um, Yeah, man, just excited for new things that's coming. Uh, when the app drops and everything like that, so yeah, let them know. You know, Fuck. we got Galaxy coming, the app for cryptocurrency, the way to monetize your fan base. So be so on the lookout. It's, uh, it's more of a creator thing, right? Yeah, it's more okay. of a creator. So like, I mean, even if you're not technically a creator, influencer type of thing, you can have one. But I mean, if you only gonna make ten dollars a month or some shit like that, <laughs> you ain't got no front, no fans, and no supporters. But it's really for the people. It's kind of like, you know, how on OnlyFans you can do subscriptions and do <clears throat> different things to make money off of whatever. A place for the creator to, to make the most out of their, yeah, out of their content out of their and make the and most money out of that. Right, right. So, uh, it's called Galaxy because it's called the Creator's Galaxy. So, right. So, that's the, that's the name. That's the thing for it and everything. Be on the lookout. Because that's where I will be exclusively dropping my recipes and cooking videos. Okay. Okay, Liddy. Um, <clears throat> yeah, man, I had a good week. Just normal week. Um, I was relaxing like like a bitch this weekend. Yeah. Um, decided not to go out of town. Didn't do the L.A. weekend, like I said. But, you know, we chilling on it. Um we going to schedule some other stuff. Yeah, man, but uh shout out uh shout out the Anchor app, they powering us. Shout out uh, Assurance DNA, they powering this episode. Shout out uh oh, nobody else. Uh y'all got shout outs? Uh no. Okay. Uh, I know we did shout outs like you shouted out Tony B during the music. You just definitely talked about Galaxy. Yeah. Um <clears throat> let's move on into the shit. Let's get into music. Um y'all want to start with a little TJ? Lil TJ dropped the album, Destined to Win. Or y'all want to start with another album? Nah, we can start with Lil TJ just because you dropped it already, but. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn. We, we can move on from it. Then they say, yeah, we got Lil TJ. You know what? Where do y'all. <laughs> nah, it's cool. That's actually the only album I listened to this week. So um, we, we said, I think a couple weeks ago, that we were going to start giving him a little bit more play on the 
on the yeah, on the music and, the came right in time. and everything correct. So it was actually a, a decent album, you know, like we talked about it, you can't listen to the whole thing in one sitting, but once you pick your favorites, that joint got some got some bangers for sure. For sure. Um I really en- were you Yeah, no, I'm good. Okay, my bad. Um <clears throat> I really enjoyed the album. It had one too many songs on it for me. Now if I'm a big little T J fan that's probably not a problem to have 22 songs on it, but this is my first time listening to a little TJ thing. Like I said, um, if it's somebody that's more A-list, something like that, I'm more equipped to listen to right. longer albums from them because I, I'm used to their music. Not something we're getting up, somebody we're getting accustomed to. Right, but um, it's really good. And like I said, uh, or I didn't say it's uh, the first half of the album, I didn't really like much. But as we got into the second half, he got into more of his melodic shit. Yeah. His slower songs. That that might be the little TJ that I'm fucking with. I don't know if there's different types. I don't know if we got two sides to little TJ. I don't know this guy yet. But I'm fucking with a lot of his music and his album was nice. Agree, man. Uh, I think it's a good listen. I agree that it's too many songs, but I say that about anybody. It could be my favorite rapper. I'm going to still say 20 songs is too much for an album. Right. No matter what. But, Drake? Um, Yes. We're not doing this. All right, we're going. <laughs> Scorpion was too much, but anyways. Um, what nah, about bro. Scorpion? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so I, think, a, I really think the B side. Nah. <laughs> it was a good listen, bro. Um, so I, I agree. Like, I really don't know what to expect from him. So, um, But I liked it. It's good music. Um, we had already heard Headshot, Calling My Phone. Um, but it's I had sent... What I said that Irregular Love Irregular Love Irregular Love I like that one um, The one with Tusi. I love really like the one with Tusi. Yeah, yeah, I like show. that one too and then, uh, Running up with Offset and Money Bad Offset did his yeah. thing Yeah Offset Snap But uh, it's another one called Part of my part of the Plan I don't know if I sent that one That was hard too though But he snapped But uh, but yeah For my first like listen um, I listened to this twice Yeah I did too I listened to it all day um, Sunday Okay Um I think so. Lil TJ young as hell. He's nineteen. Oh shit! Word. But he kept he <laughs> kept saying that on the song. He was like, "I'm nine. He may be older now. Them songs may be old. I was gonna say, I thought I'm gonna look it up. But I, I think he's nineteen. So me listening to it, knowing that he's young, I'm like, bro, he's gonna blow the fuck. I would up. say he, he's a little bright advanced. Future. He's got a bright future. His, his, his mental and his music's a little advanced for him to be nineteen. Like it makes sense why we keep hearing about him and why we've heard like before. Because remember we said like remember that thing that you had brought up it was like he was saying like he was like one of the hottest newest rappers out. Yeah. Right, and at a point in time they were saying that he was damn near like on some King of New York shit. Yeah, born in two thousand one. <laughs> oh damn. shit, that boy not even a nineties baby. <laughs> Yikes! And crazy. he got some of the tracks you put on with your lady. <laughs> on, on me, bro. Yeah, look. <laughs> Like, bro, I will punch you in your chest. <laughs> Sing to my bitch again. See if I don't knock you out, nigga. <laughs> but, yeah, that's crazy. Like, me hearing that, like, he said on the song, he's like, I'm only 19. This nigga serenading like, your queen. I was like, damn, this little nigga going to be around. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I was yeah. just like, that's crazy. Like, niggas getting younger and younger, bro. But We starting yeah. to see what hip-hop might look like? Mm-hmm. Nah, I don't think. Well, I don't think he's going to be the uh, what hip-hop. You mean age-wise? Yeah, oh, just okay, YB. Okay. Just young niggas Yeah Yeah, yeah. I mean yeah. It's just like sports Like everybody we watching on TV Bro we older dude That's crazy to look at though And like yeah. people are already shaping out Who's gonna be what Like you see the Lucas The Jaws The yeah. Mellows though. I'm like Bro CD is just about to turn 22 Yeah even even with the, the CDs on The Friday. Dax The um <clears throat> Um, I'm trying to think that Jalen Ramsey's these kind of guys, the Odell's, they're like yeah. shaping up to be new. Like, well, not Odell because he's <laughs> he's era, his era is already. <laughs> like, why does nigga say Odell? I'm saying he's got. <laughs> I'm just thinking about being little Moss, new nigga Odell. Yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. I got you. Yeah. Airs. Yeah. Fuck you. Hey, is this something playing? I was like, what you playing? Because <laughs> <laughs> DMX been playing this entire time. <laughs> I mean, it'd be like, oh, bro, bro, bro. I was like, somebody I mean, it'd be like, it'd be like, it'd be like, DMX like, rolling? Oh, <laughs> like, God, damn. Yeah. Who in the back? God. What's hot as shit? 
hot as Big shit. Big boy want to walk around this bitch like Dr. Dre. All oh right. God. Chill out. Detox. <laughs> um, the next album. Are y'all done with Bank? Oh, I said, are y'all done with Bank Roll Freddy? <laughs> Fuck, I keep giving my... I keep, keep blowing my cover. This nigga fucking... I'm saying, get this nigga off the show. I keep blowing my cover. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. Oh that nigga finna sweat out this bitch. <laughs> Okay, it's a little TJ. I got a long sleeve under this. Stupid. <laughs> but nah, bro. Yeah, we good. We good on the TJ. Right. <laughs> Bankroll Freddy. Big, big, big bank. bank. Oh. <laughs> it's like, why, bro? That's, that's not music. music. That can't oh, be me. Bro. Who is it? Who is it? Unplug the ox. I, I, how, did, how did little TJ start playing? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Bro, what you got going on in there, bro? Yeah, put that down, my boy. I just got my list on it. Uh, <laughs> this nigga tripping. There's one take around here, nigga. I'm just you're right, you're right, you're right. I'm just flipping. Yeah. Close, close <laughs> your music out, bro. <laughs> Shit. Bankroll Freddy. Big Bank. Diddy, listen. Next song. Did you listen to that? Nah, I ain't get to it. Yeah. Uh, um, Did you? Call you. Yeah, I listened to it, but I didn't I didn't like it too much. That's why I was hoping oh. that I had another analysis on it. But this is supposed to be y'all heard about Bankroll Freddy, correct? Yeah. Or have heard his name buzz a little bit? I've heard of a little bit. Yeah. Uh this is QC's artist that they this is the new one they're back in. Um mm-hmm. so I'm just saying he got the streets buzzing. So this might be one of these artists that you do take a look at his album because it's not gonna be the last time you hear from Bankroll Freddy. Do he got a, a song that's hot? Uh, let me double check. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not playing it now. No, 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 no. I'm just trying to see by name. Y'all ruin that. <laughs> I'm scared to play shit. I mean, saying. we don't know when it's gonna cut off. We do a music podcast. I'm scared to play music. <laughs> uh, pop it. Let's see. What's the name of that? Yes, he got a song called "Pop It" with Megan Thee Stallion. I seen that. Um, drip like this with Baby and. Uh, Dolph, little baby and young Dolph. Mm. Have you heard that? No. Have you heard a drip like this? I can't think of how it go. Drip like this. No, drip like this. No. Why would I be listening to that? But y'all really ain't listen to that. I don't know. I'll listen to it later, bro. But I was I teed up in that hole when that beat come on. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> why would I be listening to this, <laughs> bro? That whole hard. Okay. I mean, I might have to, I might have to spin it, but um, <clears throat> since y'all didn't hear it, I, I think he raps good. I just think he, he lacked finesse in his flow. Like his bars is the mediocre. Like when the beat's on, he's going. When the beat stops, he stops. He's not, it's not doing nothing real yeah. complex. But you know, he's just starting off. So we'll see what happens. Um, we got a lot of news, so we ready to move into news. You're not gonna rock on singles. Oh damn! I don't have my list up, so I'm thinking that we just add on. on. <laughs> What's up, my boy? You. It's been a long week, man. Bro, y'all want to just part? <laughs> y'all got this. Y'all want to get a new host? <laughs> yeah. Chill out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My hair. Oh man, I'm like, I'm looking like damn. We already ran through that shit. Forty two dog. Roddy Rich. They dropped a single for the gang. What do you think about it? <laughs> that that wasn't for the gang. Was it not? Is it not called for the gang? I'm saying it's not for the gang. They could have kept it. Okay. Now you're making me feel like I'm. <laughs> it's not just, for the gang. I was saying you just judge yourself every time you talk. Nah. Nah, but. That uh, boy insecure. You really didn't like it? <laughs> Chill out, bro. Super secure. Can you get back to the, to the track? Yeah, bro. <laughs> My bad. Um, it was cool. Like it has a good, you know, vibe to it. Beat, woo, woo, woo. But they not talking about shit. And what did from, you want them to talk about? I mean, I don't know. From Roddy Rich, that's what we expect, is it not? I don't know what the fuck to expect from Roddy Rich because I don't know if he's a conscious rapper or if he's gonna tee this bitch up. I don't know what we <laughs> get from this nigga. I like him, but you don't know that. What know? are we getting from him? I just didn't. I, I still don't like the combination. I, I guess I went into it with the mindset of thinking this shit was gonna be trash already. So, um, I like I like the reference track. So I mean, <clears throat> or the sample, whatever you want to call it. But other than that, I didn't care for it much either. I just didn't know what you were expecting yeah. out of it. Yeah, I thought it was 
I thought the beat was good. The beat was and good. And the for first sure. time I heard it, I was like, okay, this is a little banger. But the more I hear it, I wouldn't. It's not like a replay value song for me. And I spun it back on the way home, like just a few, a little bit ago, and I was like, you know, I was just trying to make sure I wasn't tripping. I I liked it at first. I mean, I like it still. It's yeah. just not yeah. something I'm gonna keep playing. Kari, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I ain't hear none of these singles, bro. I ain't listen to no music this weekend. Hey, get off the pot. <laughs> take, go ahead and just take I'm a nap. Just, just take a nap. Did you, did you see any of this news? Nah, the news, I'm good. Okay. But the singles, I, I love you <clears throat> forgot about them all. That's crazy. That's because we, we sent them. Like, I sent them, like, right after you sent the little TJ tracks. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. this, this is just be us thing right now. <laughs> hey, shit back. Yeah, do uh do what Hoppy do when, when he don't want to talk about some shit. I was like, y'all turn um, coming. Did you hear the Freddie Gibbs track? Yeah, I did hear the Freddie Gibbs track. Um, were we doing all is all this rapid shit because of Easter? I don't know, bro. I'm thinking all the we've never had like a, a Easter themed niggas is going crazy this year, especially um, with the names and shit. Like, come on, bro. I liked the track, but we can move on. I don't really care to just sit here and talk about the new Freddie Gibbs Easter track. <laughs> yeah. Um. West Side Gun. Did you hear the? the I didn't, that's the only one I didn't hear. Um, you didn't hear that freestyle that I sent on Instagram? It was like four minutes, but you. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I think I looked at the time and cut that shit off my butt. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, bro. We can move in the news, bro. Good. No, I mean, yeah. Let's just tell them that Kodak, oh, Kodak flopped. You didn't like the Eastern Miami thing? The text that I sent right after I sent that song. I know. Was, this hoe is not good, but I'm just. Oh, saying I heard it. this one. You heard this one? You didn't like that one either? It's all right. It ain't. I don't even. I mean, it's not being saved to my phone. Like, nah. Kodak hasn't wowed me since he's been out yet. I, and I felt that exact same way when I heard it. I was like, damn, this nigga ain't dropped shit. Yeah, he ain't wowed me yet since he's been out. Like, everything been like, uh. He had that track that came out with um, Yachty. We was like, oh, yeah, he gonna fuck some shit up. They came out with a. He, you so, saw Lil Yachty doing the Detroit flow? Yeah, bro. I don't wanna talk about Yeah, bro. move on. I was gonna say. But um, listening back to it at first when I heard, I was like, uh, listening back, Kodak kind of went crazy on that one. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Did he? Called, nah, yeah. It was just his voice that was fucking me up. Oh, wait, on which like, one? It didn't sound like Kodak he, at all. He about it. I think. Oh, it was no, 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 no. He about it. He went crazy. Something no, like yeah. That. We sitting there talking about Kodak and. In general, overall. Yeah, since he's been out. That's all he. That's all he. That was just like a. Like a, a th- I wouldn't even call it a freestyle. He's just talking. It sounds like a Kodak song I've heard before. Yeah, he's just talking, bro. I'm yeah. just like, all right, whatever. But uh, what was the song that he that he dropped by himself when he first got it? It's some like a brand name by some pants or something. Uh, Every ball man. Yeah, yeah, that, that one whole, okay. That, that one good. okay. I like that. It's all right. Nah, it's better than the other shit he done put out. But go back and listen to uh, Hit Battle, whatever it's called, with Yachty. Listen to his verse. Like he kind of went crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I just felt like he was forced to to. To do that, to ride yeah. the beat because it yeah. was moving like that. Yeah, yeah. but I, I like it. But still, I don't think I say none of them. Is it? Are we thinking he's working on an album? I don't even think he's doing that. <laughs> he better not be. I no, yeah. He really like annoying the fuck out of me right now. He bro. is. Yeah, he about to get <laughs> about to get blocked. Nah, for so real. He about bro. to get like, muted he, on some shit. On he's back to doing that same Kodak ass shit before he yeah. got locked up. Y'all seen him eat that fish head? Yeah, bro. Like, yeah. He, be, he being weird, dude. Like, like, stop, bro. <laughs> niggas. Kodak like that internet shit. Yeah, dog. He didn't fell in love with you. I don't know. Like, he don't even need that. Not for me. I like testimony. Yeah, no, hey. I mean, uh, what's the album called? Live to uh, die, 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 live. And um, I was about to say, I feel like when that album came out, right before the promo for all of that, he stopped all of this antic stuff. Yeah, and remember, we even said it like it looked like he was turning a new leaf, right? Because yep. he was he was rapping about it. he was talking about how he was changing his life and shit. And we thought that he was continuing this because we were hearing about how he was continuing to turn a leaf <laughs> in jail. <laughs> and then he got in trouble again. And he brought guns on the tour bus. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, stop talking to me. And we about to talk about him later. And then remember um, that rental car situation? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this they nigga went on the run. And they found this nigga in, like, Philly or something. <laughs> he don't want to be free, dog. Bro, bro, they do not care, bro. They don't, dog. Like, I used to try to give him the benefit of the doubt. Like, bro, he just don't got the right and people around him. Uh, all this he's stuff just happens. not the right person. And he still has <laughs> pending charges. He still got that rape case. Oh, yes. Man. Yeah. Um, hit about it. 
<laughs> you can hit by it. Man, you can <laughs> hit say, by yeah, it. If you got a problem, <laughs> he finna hit by it. <laughs> he about to get hit <laughs> with, <laughs> Chill out. with another charge. <laughs> <laughs> with a few years. I'm gonna say. Chill out, bro. I'm not, I'm not wishing years on nobody. Um, <clears throat> speaking of years, NBA young boy. Uh, that nigga doing five to ten. We for talked last week about his arrest, correct? <laughs> yeah, correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, moving forward, they thought they were gonna get bond. It ended up being set at like five hundred and forty thousand. The judge revokes it. He will remain. Uh, he'll remain in custody until his trial. That's that's big for rappers. For your bond to be denied. Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, cause I mean, yeah. The thing about it, when he got arrested, they thought he was on the run. Well, he was on the run. He he was technically. So if we let this nigga bond out. Right, not getting this nigga again, and they have him on a felony possession charge, yep. yada yada yada. So it's probably on some menace to society shit. That's crazy. Yep. Um, but did y'all see how they ended up catching him? <laughs> that nigga was in the bushes. No, like um, how they ended up getting a warrant out for him. Nah, what happened? They like caught like within like a half a second in his music video of him holding the stick, like, and they got the warrant straight off of that. It's like two. It's literally like. Two clips in a in a video, like a shot and another shot, like that you could snap a photo of, right up just like that. And they were able to add that along with, they said once he got out of jail, he started his probation stuff correctly, mm-hmm. but he didn't follow up with it. He stopped doing his his drug, like he would he wouldn't show up for his drug testing, yada yada yada. <clears throat> Things just curtailed to where they got to. Lock buddy up, and then he's gonna sit into a trial. And he's up repeated felon, so he'll probably do a little. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. But um, I don't have no sympathy for bro. Me either. Like, bro, that's stupid. No, I don't either. And this is probably his his, his sixth or seventh arrest in probably <laughs> twenty four months. Yeah, dude, like it's crazy. And probably his third bid that he's gonna do. In he, yeah. Probably. He's gonna sit. Twenty four months. He's gonna sit this time for sure. Oh yeah, that's crazy because this time last year he was sitting. He just got out last summer. Remember some shit like that? The summer before last? I don't remember. Yeah, because I remember he dropped like a a video of him getting out, like at the gate. So I don't know. I don't wish that on nobody. But sometimes, bro, it's just like what? What can you do? Why are you in a video? <laughs> Your own video at that. You tell them to say you tell you you could tell niggas what to edit. Like, can't hold a stick. Or you could just not have it. Can't hold a stick. Like just not have it. Like why you got a hammer in your hand? <laughs> just make a video of you driving around, chilling nigga, at the bullshit in the house. Use a water gun, nigga. Like, bullshit in the house. And keep it a whole hundred. At this point, we know YB's MO. So you don't even have to carry a stick in the right, video. Right, like right. we know you, YB. You could just make a regular you know, sometimes people the video don't have nothing to do with the song. It's just like, especially rappers like him, like in the hood, it just, they everyday life. It's just yeah. like a video, it's like a, a vlog behind and they just yeah. put music on it. And especially moving forward in his career, he's the type of artist that can start doing real visuals behind it. Like start having, like paint pictures behind your album or having like somebody like a Cole Bennett or somebody like really doing things with the video that you don't even have to do this no more. We could really... This is Atlantic music. This is Atlantic Records' fault too. Yeah. How the fuck? How the fuck? What the fuck? You can't control him, dog. But I'm saying, like, this is this is one of your music videos. How the fuck? <laughs> Man, you think? I know, I know, but <laughs> like, but where's the where's the artist control? Yeah. I, whatever. We can we can move on in the artist that uh. <laughs> It's on some other shit. <laughs> we talked last week about how Lil Nas X had, uh, had did a, a video and created a shoe um, that was that was in works with Nike, and uh, it had six 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 say right right. Um, Nike came out and said we have no parts in that, and they actually opened a lawsuit against the company. I don't know if that's mischief. Is that just like other words for like mischief or? But I, I was trying to. Figure out what the fuck that meant too. I'm thinking it's mischief. But I don't fucking know. I don't uh, even want to. I don't even want to play with it. Yeah, the the brand name, whoever um, Lil Nas X collabed with to do the Satan shoe, they're not being sued by Nike. Um, thoughts on that? Nope. Good. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you should have known better. Like, I'm yeah. saying, Nike's not finna play that, bro. Um, Lil Nas X got what he wanted. 
Of course. It's got what? the number one song in uh, the country. And you got people talking. I was going to say, and he'll probably have it next week. But I, I, actually, after next week, I don't think it'll actually stay too long. Because this this isn't one of these songs that's going to keep up. He had to have a lot of buzz behind it to even yeah. have this shit going. And I'm glad it's going to die down quick. <clears throat> Your boy's blowing up. Who? Raw Wave. <laughs> you know, you knew I was gonna come in here and say some shit. Um, Rod Wave has the number one album in the country. Congratulations! Put, <laughs> chill out, bro, bro. He put up 137 in the first okay. week, and um, that's big. That's big for a Rod Wave type of for Rod Wave's type of artist. Putting up over or close to 150, that's really big for sure. Um. Have you gave the album any more listen? Yeah, I, I said the album good, man. I still listen to it. <laughs> Just take it easy, man. <laughs> <laughs> I said the album good, but I do have some more. Another take. I'm glad. I'm glad he's popping back up in the news. I had another take for him. Give me the take, because I got some. I got to take this. Some people that's not even on here. So like, I was reading the comments and stuff like that, and they had posted one in Rod Way. Somebody had said something about that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Dog. Last week, bro, you killed me with that, bro. <laughs> bro. Bro. This nigga here, bro. Yeah, you're going to send people at us. And who? He <laughs> <laughs> said, especially when you're that big. <laughs> but how, you, how you that big and sad? <laughs> Go ahead, bro. bro. So they were just talking about like how his music's always sad, blah, blah, blah. He was like, if you don't feel my pain or my hurt, then my music's not for you. That's boom. Okay, so now he really cornered himself in because if he does try to switch over to the happy sound, the good vibe, blah, 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 blah. And then it's for them. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up with the rest of your crowd that you just... For that old shit. Just listen to that. Oh, that old shit. Numbers are gone. He's not going to move over. That's his lane. And it's not too much more you can cry about. He can do it. <laughs> Think about it. Like, what? What the fuck else was Juice World gonna do? Stop. I'm being. I'm asking an honest question. I don't mean like in in a bad way. Like his career was gonna curtail because he was a star. I mean like, but his lane. What other type of music did you expect him to make? Or X or any of them? I didn't really listen to any. No, of them. yeah, I know. You didn't listen <laughs> to Juice World? Not, not enough. What other music do you expect Trippy Red to make? He failed with the other shit you tried. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't ever try that rock star shit again. But like, nah. you want him to make sad music. Trippy Red got some live, some upbeat stuff too, though. Sad content. <laughs> Heartbreak, shawty. I guess I don't. I see mean, and Rod Wave got us some songs too. He got a couple, but I don't think <laughs> <laughs> he's not in there. Like he's not in their lane. They're not in the same. Okay, no, I don't mean it like that. I'm just saying, like with certain artists, like I think. They grow a large enough fan base that they can keep making the same kind of content and be okay. We're going to see. That's what I said. We're going to see. So let's talk about how he fumbled. Okay. Yeah. I, I, didn't, even, uh, I didn't even think about that part. Um, so it came out last week that Rod Wave supposedly had a feature on Drake's Lemon Pepper Freestyle. I don't know if that was... Um, supposed to be where rick ross was or he was supposed to be in addition to rick ross or whatever that was supposed to be um but he said he got cold feet and he he didn't do the verse that is the dumbest shit i've ever heard you said what or he did it and pulled it yeah he did it and and decided not to have or told drake not to release it or not to put it on it that is that is absurd whatever the case may be the only way that I have a feature coming with Drake and it didn't come out is if I fumbled the bag and blew it by promoting the shit when I wasn't supposed to. I mean, I'm doing previews and shit on my story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm about to say, like and trippy. anything other, yeah, like with the guys playing the trippy thing. Other than that, there's no reason why my music with Drake should not be releasing. Oh, I, and I'm definitely not backing out of the biggest shot of my life. Bro, and the cold part is he knew his album was about to drop. So imagine hopping on that Lemon Pepper bitch right before. That would have been insane. And this is a part of Drake's album run. This isn't like, this is something different. 
<laughs> you had the potential to be on Drake's album. Bro, idiot. That nigga dumb, but boy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Nakari. Any thoughts? <laughs> yeah. Um, Cause I'm gonna keep bashing this <laughs> stupid ass. I'm, I'm looking at the <laughs> Come on, bro. I'm looking at the comments. It's crazy because he was like he was gonna he was gonna pick somebody fat. <laughs> yeah, bro, that's what that's the first comment it said. So instead Drake with the uh, went with the second chunkiest rapper. <laughs> <laughs> bro, they be killing me. But uh, yeah, that's that's a fumble dog, but um Big I mean, he's alright, but yeah, that definitely, you know, take you to it the next level. Him. Yeah, for sure. But Especially like you said with the whole his your album coming out and Drake is on his promo run, like do you crazy? So I don't know. Maybe he thought his verse wasn't good enough. Maybe um, I, I don't understand the the cold feet. I don't get it. Like what you get cold <laughs> like, feet? You, you, you are you rap, a rapper. You rap in front of the same audience, not the same audience, not but the like, large audience, but in front yeah. of an audience anyway. And, and your point in rapping was to gain the type of artist that Drake has. Like nigga, was you starstruck? It, I don't know what say Ben not say that. What do you mean by cold feet? Yeah, I need some more. You info did the verse that. and sent it over. That's it. Right. And then if you didn't like you say, hey bro, let me just do another take. Even if my verse was trash, it's on Drake's shit and somebody's gonna fuck with it and they about to go play my album now. And it went uh top three. One, two, and three on the chart. You would have <laughs> he missed his very first Billboard top ten hit, top fucking, five, top three. F- fucking get it. <laughs> and which one? Which one was Lemon Pepper? Was it? A, was it, was it top three. two? Okay. It was three because Mary was in order. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. right. Nah, it was three. Yeah, yeah, you are right. I think he just said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, cause I was about to you go. You do look. it every time, but <laughs> I be confirming myself. Fuck nigga, now you worry about what's next on the list. Chill, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happened next, okay? Oh, God. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, were we back on Kodak Black? That's what we're doing? Kodak Black was at the scene of a shooting? Man, why you didn't put all this shit together? Fuck that nigga Kodak. I should have put this shit together. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to jump around and go back to Kodak because Kodak is going to be a part of this South Side shit that we talk about later. I bet. Um, <clears throat> Quavo and Sweetie. We talked about how they broke up last week. We ain't talking about this shit last week. Nope. <laughs> we talked about the breakup last week, <laughs> but the the elevator incident. Oh it, shit! It dropped like two saying. days after we dropped our pod. See, I took a deep breath because I'm ready. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> this one took up all the all the pod. Shit, I'm gonna have to do a 15 minute snippet. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna let y'all have this. IG one. video? No. Uh-uh. No. We'll see what happened next. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So an elevator video released. Why do the, why the fuck rappers love elevators? <laughs> Um, <laughs> God, take the stairs. And it was an altercation of Quavo and Sweetie, who are now broken up. At the beginning of it, you can see Quavo. Um, it looks like he's he's pulling at Sweetie's jacket. Um, it, that's at the the zero second mark. Around the the one second mark, you can see Sweetie throw an object at Quavo's head. Mm-mm. And then they get the tussling. And uh, they kind of swing. Well, they ain't no kind of. Cause I hope we don't have female listeners that think I'm I'm <laughs> I'm just normalizing this shit. No, they swing and Quavo swings Sweetie into the elevator. She falls down. Um, it looks like they're tussling over a bag. I'm sure everybody that's listening to me right now has seen this video or heard about it. Um, let's get into the the whole meat potatoes of the shit, guys. What did you think about the situation? That's a that's a general question. Okay, I'll I'll start. Very broad. <clears throat> I'm looking at this. Of course, as, as soon as I see the the elevator view, I know some kind of altercation is about to go down. Somebody's about to fight somebody. These type of videos don't release in any other manner. I see Quavo. The first thing I see is Quavo swing Sweetie into the into the elevator. I don't see him throw the. I mean, I don't see her throw the shoe at first, so I'm looking at this like, what the fuck going on? Like, what the fuck is going on? Obviously, this is abuse. They're both abusing each other, whatever. This is domestic. This might not be domestic violence. They're, they're both, there's this dispute, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. I don't think, I don't think they're, they're beating each other up. I don't think Quavo beat Saweetie up. Um, I just... Wait, are y'all laughing because I called it abuse? 
<coughs> yeah, he's saying <coughs> domestic abuse. He just looked funny. Bro, I just looked at the dick <coughs> card because he got some shit to say. No, it sounded like you had some shit to say. I'm not saying shit. <laughs> um, all right. So you asked me, what do I think? How do I feel? Mm. Uh, so it's a rough, it's a sticky situation. Um, yeah, I don't really even know like what part to start with. <laughs> yeah, bro, like you just you're getting we're getting the the aftermath. You know what I'm saying? So like this video's from December. Yeah, that's another thing. So we're getting the framed video. Yeah, and that's another thing I want to say. Like, like I had said with y'all uh, last week, this was forgot about with them two. They had got back together. You know what I'm saying? Or they had. You know, got past it, right? right. This anyways, is bigger to us than they yeah, made it. Yeah, for sure. TMZ, bro. Anyways, niggas you throw that cash, they be like, "Bill, what's right. up?" But um, so yeah, the situation is unfortunate, man. I mean, um, I just wish people would create their own. Like, perception is everything. I said this to y'all. So when the video first dropped, it's two different clips. Yep. So on on one on some blogs, you're just getting. Boom, Quavo just swung her in the elevator. And those those are the blogs that the females follow. Right, shade room. I'm going to just say that. I was about to say, I didn't, I didn't know we were doing that. No, Go yeah. ahead. Fuck them. <laughs> yeah, fuck them. <laughs> then you got, you know, you see the other video where it show you just a little part right before where she's where throwing she the throws shoe. shoe at him. Swinging at him. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I mean. So, like, y'all laughed at the abuse part. I'm not trying to cut you off. Yeah. If she's throwing, like, her throwing the shoe at him is a form of abuse. Mm-hmm. Him... Like swing her to the ground. Like if, like if they're not touching each other, there's no abuse. If if they, if objects, people, hands hit, whatever. That's what I mean by abuse. I don't mean beating. I don't mean hurt. I don't mean blood. I don't mean beat up, bruises. I mean that's what I meant by it. Yeah, physical. Yeah, physical. Yeah, but um, both both parties are wrong. You know what Correct. I'm saying? I agree with that. But I don't. I don't think this was as big as people made it. Absolutely, not. that's Absolutely that's not. all I'm gonna Absolutely say. Absolutely, like not. dog. And there's okay. more context you need to this video. Quavo didn't swing her. You know what I'm saying? Like that, it, it was kind of like momentum, like drug both of them. You feel me? And yeah, I used I you motherfucker stumbled. <laughs> you feel me? Like it was like see like, and I used tug of war around females, and they got really angry. That's why I said swing. <laughs> dog, but if you you gotta really like. I don't feel like people be really looking at. They just want to complain, yep. and they just want to like they let other people think for them. They let other people think for them, bro. That's why I'm saying like you got to make your own opinion. You got to create your own perception. Like, dog, if you really look at that video, you can see that. Like I said, both sides are wrong, but it's not really that much that you can. It's not Ray Rice. I'm about to give some context. Like, th- like you have to give or think about things. You see, they're struggling over a bag, correct? Right. It's obviously one of their bag or the other. They're right. fighting over this bag. I'm saying if this is whether whether this is Quavo's bag or whether this is Saweetie's bag, let's say there's money in the bag. We have female audience, we have male audience. If you're parting ways with your significant other and you guys are in a falling out and it's not it's not good. And you're leaving like Quavo and Sweetie are leaving in this in this elevator. And there's money in the bag. Are you leaving without a fight? I don't care if you're male or female. Because n- none of the fe- there's not a female in the world that I know. That if it's a bag full of money or a bag full of any shit that they really care about or want. And we're leaving, and you think that I might not see you again, that you letting that fucking bag go without a fight. Especially when emotions are high in a situation like that. And I know, looking at this video, everybody on the outside wants to say what should have been done. In the moment, bro. Whether you're male or female, in the moment, none of you are acting the way it's supposed to act. Exactly. Both Everybody's (laughs) going to act irrationally. I'm not saying everybody's going to put hands on somebody or anything. Nobody's gonna act rationally. Yep. I agree. It's just it's just not it's not yeah. So like it blew up because of what happened previously, the breakup, and of course like it's it's celebrity, so it's always gonna blow. But like I said, when you really look at it, dog, and I'm not trying to like I'm not trying to lessen the situation. I hope I don't sound like that, but like this is not even that that much to really like be mad oh, you're about. You're definitely gonna sound like you're lessening the situation. Well, if if I am shit, nah, but it, to 
to kind of We're soften, not trying to excuse soften anyone that that's blow. Been abused or a lot like of that. girls are women. Girls are don't um, don't be insensitive when you're about to say this. I'm not okay. I'm good. <laughs> but um, a lot of them have gone through stuff like that, so they're very sensitive to topics like this and any type of thing that might, as they would say, trigger certain feelings or emotions is going to be a big deal to them. So we're sitting, it's really not as big as it is, but just because it's triggering to them, they're making it bigger than what it actually is. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying, I, and I understand what you're saying. Um. Yeah, and I haven't been in this situation, uh, but everybody would have... Uh, Every guy that's had a girlfriend has argued with her before, and they, I guess, they start putting it in the situation. And what if this was them? And I feel like this this type of stuff could happen to a lot of couples. Yeah, and it not be abuse. That's, that's why. I, <clears throat> that's why I was just calling the situation unfortunate. You know, what I'm saying? I wasn't trying to lessen the fact right. of, of yeah. what happened. Like, yeah, they're. Bro, they are wrong, both of them. Like, you should never be in a situation like that. Yeah. Um, but like, Quavo didn't. People. I guess abuse is the word that we're using, but like, he didn't put his hands on her. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't know the, what happened before they stepped in the elevator. She might have put her hands on him. The comments are talking. We can. We don't even know what he does to her when they get home. Get the like, fuck Like bro That's that's, that's And that goes With what he was saying Like you can't You can't attach Your own emotions To a yeah. situation You don't have Nothing like No clue about I saw, Look at the way That he was looking At her when he was <laughs> what? Nigga what the fuck <laughs> is You he can't even see the nigga eyes the, the way that he looks That's the characteristics Of a beat oh, What the fuck God. Are you talking about no, it, Like it's just <laughs> It's just crazy Because It really wouldn't be This big of a deal If they weren't celebrities Yeah man Like, like this, this A day. lot of these females Be this every day you Get, know get knocked that? upside the head And go right back And lay in bed With that nigga And yeah. keep it a whole buck Let's look, And I'm not I'm not trying to flip Or nothing A lot of these women Put their hands on us Oh I've never had nobody <laughs> Put their hands on me I was about to say I'm For sure say, But I was about to say, about to say nah. I ain't never had nobody Put their hands on me No y'all ain't but crazy But like a, a lot of these girls Put their hands on these on girls me And think shit cute <laughs> I watched some of my homeboys Get slapped up by their girlfriend In school <laughs> <laughs> Growing up, please say their name. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we're not gonna do that to you. Uh, no, <laughs> that um, shit funny. But yeah, just just to wrap it up, dog. Like, I don't really know what else to say about it. <laughs> like, it's not. I don't. I just. Bro, I'm trying to walk a thin line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we like, we walking That's why I said line. I really wasn't gonna say nothing on it because you know me. But like um, It was more of a dispute Than an abuse Yeah dog Like it was just a, a I just wanted my Call of Duty shit bro It was a dispute <laughs> Yeah and that's the thing I <laughs> argued with people or And I heard a lot of people uh, Argue They were like We don't know Whose bag this is This is a limited edition <laughs> Call of Duty box <laughs> They sent it to that nigga Exclusive And then I'm, I'm talking to my sisters They're like So I've had boyfriends And I take their bags And I use their bags And I I said, all right. Well, he probably wants this one. <laughs> Hell no. It could have been anything. It's mine. It, I was going to say. No, but they're saying this This could have been Saweetie's bag. Yes. How do we know? Uh, and I'm like, she didn't reach for the bag anymore. When she got off the elevator, did she turn back for the bag? He set the bag there to hold the elevator You're up. giving a really good take that I didn't that I didn't think about she didn't reach for that bag no more she whined cause she got on the elevator pouted get up let's go let's get up off this elevator and go back in the house and the first take that me and Kari had was oh, is that what you were about to say mm, go ahead yeah. uh, a lot of celebrities want to pull you into an elevator because we're celebrities and I don't want to make a scene in right. front of all these fucking people right, right. because if you look um, when they got off it was somebody outside. Yeah. Like, bro. And that's what, like you were saying, like, we can't see when it first started, but Quavo probably trying to get in the elevator because, like, nigga. Like, I'm you know, Quavo, Quavo and you sweet. sweetie, and they about to put us on fucking TMZ for this shit. I was like, Not knowing you? I'm about to be on TMZ for this shit. For this shit. Bro, you see what he look? He look at. He <sighs> said, <he's, laughs> say, yup. Yup, I'm finna be in the same shit. Take off, man. <laughs> I'd, I'd have been like, now look. Look. I would have tried to look at the camera. I'd be like, ah. Uh. And they said, 
But yeah, man, I'm down with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. But I just want y'all to know that that was not her shit. I'll be wanting them to know that too, but they don't believe me. Yeah. It could have been hers. Southside. Southside. Y'all see the Uzi? Mm. Southside thing? I've seen both of them. Let me, let me just pull this up for some context. Somebody just talk some shit while I'm doing this. All right, Ben, when we done with this motherfucker? No, no, I'm talking about, <laughs> about the actual <laughs> subject. Go ahead, Kari. Um, yeah, so you just want like a like a background. Yeah, just really. just run it down while I'm, while I'm getting this done. So, um, it's Uzi. You know, Uzi is with JT. Correct. Um, oh, I did see this. And then what's her, what's her real name? Karisha. Karisha. Karisha Karesha. Karisha Karesha is with Southside. The uh, he a producer, right? Yeah, Southside. Very well known. Yeah. Um, but anyways, I don't know. Something happened on like Facetime with he was Facetiming. Right, I got it now. If you want me to take it, yeah, go ahead. You're bad bad at this. We're gonna have to to work on that card. Um, I really didn't know what I was talking about. Wrong story. (laughs) Give them a different topic. No, (laughs) but uh, basically, Uzi was on Uzi and JT were on Instagram Live with Young Miami, and I guess they were talking about some private situation, and Uzi started talking to Young Miami in a way that Southside wasn't really feeling. And I want to get how y'all feel he was speaking to her. Uh, let me let me get my whole speech out because you know I don't do this. He's talking oh, to yeah. JT right here. He's talking to JT. Okay. No, he's talking to JT. I know he'd be extra. Yeah, I do. Show. It's me. Look at my car. Look at my life. I do way too much. <laughs> <laughs> so Keep anyway, chuckle. Carisha. Um. And. JT told me, she like, Uzi, you ain't gonna do nothing but make it worse, so don't say nothing. But you know, clearly, I run this shit. And this is my, every, mine. I don't know why he doing So it's just like, Carisha, oh, shut up. Look, all right, uh, JT, 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 JT. If I tell you, if I told you tongue kiss me on this live right now, you gonna do it. Okay, well, just say So just say chill. Like, hey. This is still Uzi talking to JT. Now he's talking to You saw what I said to you, Carisha, because you left me on scene. Yeah, because it's like it's understood. I mean, you're not friends, and we don't have to be friends. That's it. It's you, not about that, Carisha. You already, I told you, you know, I ain't gonna say it on live. But I already told you what be wrong with me. Everybody know what be wrong with me. You don't know me like that. Yeah, but no. exactly. I I never did nothing to you. This your second. No, time. you didn't know. You see what I said. You see, this you saw the. You saw time. what I said. So hey, well, this, do you see him as? Do you think he's charging her? Right. My last, and, and look, I think this is what's outside. Like, he just be he talking to her like another female. Like he's never, speaking like, like he a female. Like, and he said, this is like, my last time. Like, that what you, you do to me? Like, what you did to me? <laughs> say, Honestly, tell yeah, me. Do it again, Shifon. Like it or not, it's my last time. I would <clears> never <throat> do you like that. I never. Uh, just, let me, let me. Get all right, yeah, that, that, that was all I wanted to say. And, and here's Southside. Hey, Uzi, don't, don't address none of my bitch, my nigga. You, you, you handle your bitch, nigga. You stay on your side. Time to say something. You ain't got one more time to say none of my bitch, nigga. I promise you, I'm going to punch your teeth out your mouth. Don't say nothing else, nigga. Nothing else to my bitch, nigga. If you don't like my bitch, don't like my bitch. Let them do them. I don't get in they shit. We don't get in they problems, nigga. Stay the little weirdo you is, nigga. Keep rocking purses. Keep doing that bitch shit you doing. I ain't with none of that plan, bro. None of that. I love it. None of that plan. I'm the same nigga that saved you from getting robbed from offsetting them, nigga. Don't forget that. I'm the same nigga. I was the only nigga in the studio that had blicks on me, nigga. I'm the same nigga that kept you from getting your jury took when Merck was picking up your jury, nigga. Let's not play stupid, my nigga. Stop. I only let it ride that long because I wanted him to drop that gym so we could talk about that. <laughs> um, any take before we get into that about the uh, about Uzi Southside, yeah. JT, yeah, Carisha? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How we- um, I'm, y'all know how Uzi is. Like he a weirdo. Yes. So I don't really think he was being disrespectful. I don't really either. And um, when he said "shut up, Carisha," he really was talking to JT, and he corrected it. He said "shut up, Carisha." And he said "JT, JT, JT, JT." Yeah. So I don't think he was coming out disrespectful. Uh, Uzi just just being Uzi. You know he a weirdo. But um, <clears throat> to double back with Southside, uh, Southside is just using this as an opportunity to. Comment on something, and I'm gonna get into that yeah. when we talk about the Codex situation. Seems like he's the only one. Um, first off, like you disrespecting your girl more than Uzi did. We talking about the, my bitch nigga. Yes, bro. <laughs> like Uzi didn't really even disrespect Carisha to me, but you come right off the back. Don't talk about my bitch nigga. Boom, you already lost. I'm about to say, and, <laughs> yeah, the whole thing was because he thought that he called her a bitch. Like you already lost. 
But anyways, uh, lying, <coughs> lying. So yeah, I think he just kind of like it's social media, bro. Niggas think they gotta respond. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna touch into that a little bit later. But yeah, I don't, I don't really, I don't know. It's not really that big of a deal. It, it wasn't a big deal to me. JT even came out and, and cleared it up and said, "Yo, Southside made it a way bigger deal than it was supposed to be." Because Young Miami and Uzi talk on the phone with JT like this all the time. I was about to say they really friends, right? Bro. And like, he really the third city girl. Uzi said, <laughs> <laughs> "That's fucking nah, crazy." Nah, for real. No cap. That's funny. I, I be seeing niggas say to uh, Cardi the fourth Migo, <laughs> <laughs> but um. Yeah, he was posting on Twitter and he was like, yo, this is my girlfriend's best friend. Why the fuck would I be sitting there disrespecting her? He was like, and they famous. <laughs> Bro, they probably talk every single day. And Uzi, y'all, we guys. So Uzi to us seemed like one of the girls. So I'm sure they have lingo together. So like, yeah. Hey, what? Bro, they, they sassy as a motherfucker together. He took that shit way left. But Southside been taking shit way left. Forever. So, uh, to double back, to piggyback on that with the whole Southside versus Kodak now, do, do this have- this beef is old. Hold on, wait, before we get right there. Southside said something about Uzi getting robbed by Offset. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How does this play <laughs> out? What the fuck? Yeah, nigga, yeah, yeah, yeah. Little yeah. nigga, give me that chain. I'm wondering how this... How this comes about, how this plays out, they do bad and bougie. They, uh, they I'll say there's a demon, dude, and yeah, and a demon. And I also heard he's a fucking diva, <laughs> and like he, he really don't play a whole lot of shit not going his way and shit. Yeah, I can tell. But, but where, where does it happen that rich niggas are robbing rich niggas? I mean, bro, these niggas are a street, you know what I'm saying? They. Offset came up from Robin. You know what I'm saying? Like, so he... Nigga, niggas just famous, bro. They still who they are. I'm just thinking in my head, like, I'm Uzi. Like, where do we go from here if I'm robbed by Offset? Like, do do I do I have to street get my chains back? Am I am I suing Offset for robbing? What What nah. is this? I'm getting the Philly niggas to get, to get my just, chain it, back? It just go... Uh, it's just like... It's just not talked about. Like you said, we wouldn't even know about this Southside and get to tripping. Hell yeah, and like uh, Playboy Cardi said something about a in a rap, and we didn't even get it. So I thought I heard it because he talked about he talked about a lot of shit in that song. Yeah, but I heard that when it first came out, but I didn't I didn't think anything of it. Right, you know what I'm saying I thought he was talking about like he said hidden. I thought it was hidden. cool shit. Yeah, I thought it was like a song or some shit. And he was like, I was in Paris when when Uzi and Offset start hitting. Yeah, or some shit like that. And then he's because right after that he said something else about. Um, Another thing, I gotta look it up, bro. But yeah, I'm thinking it's just rap, like he's just talking. You know what I'm saying? But um, no siree. Weird. We can go on the Kodak if you want. Um, no. Nah, so I was just gonna say, uh, this is why I'm saying like social media. I think niggas be getting pressure. Niggas be getting bullied into saying shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Niggas, niggas be in the comment section just like how we be in the comment section. And they be like, oh, no, Southside, blah, blah, blah. So that's probably why he said something off They top. see the narrative and then don't want to be pussy no more. Right. This Kodak situation is old. This ain't something that just happened like right off the bat. Like Kodak responded and said something. This nigga Southside brought up some old shit because niggas like they they was like why you give all that energy to Uzi but didn't respond to Kodak so then he made a video about Kodak <laughs> like you yeah, see man, what I he mean was like if you want that shit he was like and it's fuck Kodak do, I, I, do I got the Kodak video Kodak will run up on your ass boy you better stop playing yeah I don't I don't have to say relax my boy <laughs> that nigga Uzi yeah, got caught bitch. slipping we can bump too I'll be back in Miami in a week pull up wherever we can bump don't bring no security bring your niggas I'm gonna bring my niggas we can bump. Like dog, if you really wanted that smoke, like you yeah, could have been hit it. I he got an album coming out, right? Who? Southside. Probably. I I'm I'm almost positive because he was he was the one he said, Yeah, he's dropping an album and this is his last album he's producing ever. But But yeah, yeah niggas be getting bullied, bro. That's all that is. I can't even remember when that was. But they were just like Oh, where was this energy with Kodak? You want to give it to Uzi because of Uzi's persona, the the little guy. You know what I'm saying? The city girl. <laughs> <laughs> Call that nigga a city that girl. That is fucking crazy. Y'all gotta stop. <laughs> I fuck with Uzi, but he a city girl for sure. 
He is. Nigga said in that video he was running. <laughs> Bro, y'all yeah, remember in the uh, the feel like summer video that nigga was getting his hair braided by Oprah? <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is a, this is the hot take that I had. All right, I've been listening to Key to Key Glock and, and Dolph shit all week, and I started looking back through niggas' projects, niggas' verses, niggas' albums. The hip hop game doesn't really fuck with them. Who? Dolph and Glock. Dolph and Go Dolph. back through their discographies. Like nobody. Really fucking with them. You like saying that. like features? Yeah, like or them doing music with like people that much. Besides Gucci Mane, they don't really get a lot of work in with other niggas. They don't get a lot of features from a lot of rappers. They don't get a lot of shout out from another like a lot of other camps. And it, it might be because I know they beef with CMG and Yo Gotti and all that. And Yo Gotti's really really inside. Like he's he's the one in this rap shit from Memphis type shit whatever. Wow, you, you let your pizza man fuck up the podcast like that? <laughs> I ain't think we still gonna be going. This man let the pizza man <laughs> fuck up the podcast, <laughs> bruh. And he got up to get the pizza. <laughs> that boy different. He's standing at the door. He's still there? Oh. Rise and Ground Podcast, bruh. <laughs> what was I saying? Key Glock, Young Dog. Oh yeah, they, you said before y'all got it. Uh, I, that that was just a, a take that I had, but I I started thinking nobody really fuck with them, and I, and I only saw that because I started thinking about it because I was like, I saw Key Glock was giving out twenty five thousand for one of his videos or something uh, something like that, and then Dolph was giving out like a hundred, and I'm like, yo, why do they? Why do they want promo like this? Or why are they willing to give out so much money for promo or for comments or for this? I'm like, do they get a lot of love? And I look and I'm like, I don't think they do. Um, I think, I mean, yeah, you're right. They don't have like big hit features. But at the same time, the type of music they make, if you look at Dolph shit, um, Dolph don't have a lot of features, period. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like He do a lot of songs with just him. But that's what I mean. Like I, I think that's by choice, though, is okay. what I'm saying. But um, it's also a different type of sound. Like there, that type of Memphis rap. It's not a lot of niggas who can get on that unless it's Gucci Mane or because if throw it to 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 black black youngster, who black youngster got? If we going on the other side of the room, black youngster get on everybody's shit. I'm saying, but who's on his shit? That's what we talking about. Uh, hold on, I. I don't give them uh, nowadays. Like you know, back in the 2015, 16, 17 days, I was a huge Black Youngster fan. But I'm not as much as a Black Youngster fan as I am as Glock and Dolph nowadays. Let me see. His last album, he had features from. And Dolph got songs with Offset. Offset do songs with everybody. This from 2018, though. Know? Yeah, this one in 2020, Black Youngster, he got. Lil Baby, Money Bag Yo, Dirt, the Baby. What song Sway you got with Lil Baby? Okay. I met uh I met Tay Keith first. Okay, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the baby, Sway Lee, Stunner, Yo Gotti, and Forty Two Doug. Okay. I I'll stand correct. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even trying to correct you. Nah, nah, no, no, for sure. I'm just like fuck. But anyways, but no, nah, I think it's by choice, but if you look at Dolph, like Dolph don't do features with nobody. What about Glock? I feel like Glock. But on, on his last tape, though, he did have Meg, G. Herbo. That's it. Damn. See, that's what I'm I'm like, well, am I, I missing something? I think it's by something? choice, bro. I think it's by choice. Okay. Like, they, got, they got a couple more, <laughs> got a couple more tapes. <laughs> I need a little baby on some of this. Nah, bro. They don't even, they don't even sound good together. Kiko Lock's last album? Or Nobody. None. That, it's by choice, bro. If you look at all, I just looked at uh, all Dolph's tapes. You don't have nobody. I'll be thinking these niggas just <laughs> calling it. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fuck it. We just, gonna, we just gonna do this dumb and dumb. Shit. <laughs> it's Dolph. It's just Dolph. You wanna do it together? <laughs> Shit, nigga. We finna get about five dumb and dumb. <laughs> <laughs> we just gonna go dumb on that ass. <laughs> nigga, we thought you was gone. <laughs> the dumbest. 
Chill out, bro. He said he thought she was gone. I mean, dumb ass. <laughs> <laughs> bro, oh my oh. gosh. Oh, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, I'm not putting a lot of niggas on, on Dolph, bro. Oh, damn. No. no it's not even what I'm... <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bro? I put it on this. I put it on this bitch to make sure I told y'all niggas that the take a said he was gonna turn a nigga sideways and rip him like some homework. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dog? Bro, hell, no That little nigga was creative, boy. Uh, they was like, they was like, somebody was like, bro, how could he make that? It was like, bro, that nigga was fifteen. He just came from an algebra class and, <laughs> and then went to the studio. Like, that nigga stupid, they said bro. he would turn a nigga. I will turn the nigga sideways and rip him like some homework. Like some homework, dog. But um, you gotta be a young nigga to, God. Even, to even think of that. Last thing on young niggas, uh, NLE Chopper was arrested on NLE Chakra. <laughs> <laughs> he was arrested on fire, I believe, firearms charges, uh, robbery, and possession of drugs. That nigga said it's two sides of me. It's Chakra on me and Chopper. <laughs> Shit, y'all just got Chopper this time. It's two sides. But get your stupid ass on. You got tired of eating eating that grass? <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. And he came back with a with a freestyle. The freestyle was was straight. The freestyle was straight. The uh, what was it called? The beatbox. He did a remix to the beatbox freestyle. I just forgot what the little challenge was called. Yeah. I just wanted to throw that in there because it was news. I'm say. <clears throat> um, I'm about to get on his ass like I got his ass when we was talking. <laughs> Bro was in jail for like a week. Not not even. And made a first day out. He made a first day out. Yeah, I'm just like man. That one. Oh, it's new niggas. It's new streets. Know, it's bro. new streets. Like, I don't like the game, bro. It's new streets. I don't like it, bro. How old is he? I want to go home because I be. I remember I mean, like 21. Then he said I want to go home. I remember when he first started like blowing up. I wanted to see where he was from because you, I you saw he was gang banging. You're from North Carolina. Yeah, and I was I was going back in his pictures. And I'm like, okay, who he hanging with? And I'm like, oh, I don't see anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but he wasn't really all that. So he got. Um, I'm trying to, no wait. We said, oh, I don't know where that nigga from. I, I was. He's from Memphis that, too. He's from Memphis too. I said North Carolina. I was yeah. thinking Stunner. My bad. Yeah, no, I, I got the nah, confused. Good. He's from Memphis too. I ain't even stop you. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. I'm talking about the wrong nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it out. Yeah, my fault. I don't fault them niggas, bro. I really don't either. I just want. I told you. I just wanted to put that in there because it was news. Um, <clears throat> the last thing that I was going to get to and the most important. DMX over the, the weekend, he uh, he did an overdose of we don't we don't know what drug yet it was an unknown substance at the moment and he uh, he OD and he's in the hospital right now and since his OD he's been in grave condition they said uh, he's been in a, a vegetative state with little to no brain activity um, and it's not it's not looking good for for DMX. I pray uh, they push through. It, it's not looking like one of those situations, though. It's looking like one of those situations where it's 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 whenever the family wants it to be over, right? When they want them to pull the plug. Yeah, because he's he's at the point where, like I said, he doesn't have brain activity, and I know because of family instances and hospital instances like this. Once your brain activity goes goes like that for more than I don't know maybe five to ten minutes, it's it ain't it ain't too big of a it's it take a it take a miracle from God for it to come back like that. So <clears throat> yeah, we um unfortunately is looking like the last of DMX, and that sucks. So any anybody else thought anything else? No, prayers up. I mean, that just should be a lesson. Not not that it should be a lesson, but it should just be an eye-opener to a lot of people who are... Other people who might be going through things and just fooling with drugs and different things like that. People really do care, so reach out to your people. Uh, think about it before you do it and, you know, stay prayed up. And um, were you about to say something, Corey? Go ahead. No, I was just going to double back on that. Um, yeah, just prayers, dog. Like, it's unfortunate, man. Like, um... Um, 
reading uh, the comments because there there was a lot of misinformation at first, even by like his legal team. Like, yeah, they that he really had been know. that he had been taking off life support and breathing on his own. So that's fucked up for bringing fans and loved ones information like that. I yeah. don't understand how you could not get it that's right. That's fucked up, and you're the lawyer. Yeah, I um, don't get it. But anyways, uh, just prayers, dog. You, you know, we hope for a miracle. Yeah, but um, but yeah, we just have to see. But uh, just to double back on hop, like. Man, everybody have their battles, their struggles. I understand. I'm not trying to like put it past somebody, but yeah, man, like death is not easy, fam. Like, yeah, especially like when it's at all, not a bit. Drugs like that, like it could be over in seconds. You know, like quick. I'm sure DMX didn't think, you know, wasn't thinking of the outcome. And I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna get to something like that in a second. So yeah, bro, like it just it's a tough situation, but yeah. And um, I know he was uh, you were saying it on the point like um. Not an addict point, but like, just know what you do before you do it type thing. Right. Um, DMX kind of walked into it unknowingly. I didn't know if y'all saw that. He uh he experienced crack from the very first time. He someone laced him when he was smoking weed at fourteen, and he had been addicted to crack from that ever since and battled with addiction on and on and on i remember if y'all don't remember even a couple years ago we reported it on the podcast because he checked himself into rehab because he wanted to avoid one of his relapses happening so we thought dmx you know was you know really doing good right on the right track we saw him on the verses with snoop he looked super healthy if you had been looking at dmx he'd been gaining a lot of weight um clark you check that um but yeah, man, unfortunate, like Kari said, hoping for a miracle, like you said, just be mindful of what you're doing, who you're doing things around, and what you what you want to get yourself into and what you open yourself up to. Right. So, because cause that's, a, that's a big thing. Um, we're about to start, did y'all have anything else? No. Okay. Uh, we're about to start rolling into a new thing in our podcast. Um we're going to give y'all our songs of the week, and we're going to play them on the podcast. So, you want me to start? Or y'all? Uh, you can start since you got you already plugged in. Okay, yeah. My my first. I mean, say my first. Damn, there's only one. I would say, damn, nigga. How many are we doing? Uh, my song of the week is Boca Raton by Boss and uh, ASAP Ferg. I'm not gonna be able to get this shit no way. <laughs> 